On this channel, you'll never hear us use terms like alpha or beta to describe anyone's actions or thought process unless we truly believe that about the person. With that being said, I wanted to address a recent post directed towards me by an ex-colleague named Frank Allen. The post reads, An ex-colleague self-proclaimed alpha male YouTuber blocked me Friday. He couldn't text me and called out every single negative quality in a male friend to him because of the feminine or their being a bitch. He can literally see nothing harmful or toxic to women of it couldn't admit he sees women as a negative. This brainwashing culture is a centuries old way to put women down, and the so called alphas aren't smart enough to see it. The self proclaimed alphas are always the most scared. Now, I want to start by giving a little bit of a background of Mr. Allen and I's relationship. You know, I first met Mr. Allen in 2020 through a mutual friend who at the time was supposed to be editing videos for me and my team. Side note, you know, if things had worked out with this mutual colleague of ours, the entire comfort zone would look different. You know, we probably would have a different theme, a different uh, a different type of visuals, you know, a whole different concept. But, you know, sometimes things work out for the better. And I'm going to tell you why here. So if you guys click over to my music channel, a link in description, and you scroll down to where it reads popular uploads, you'll find a video titled Nebula. And it was uh, it was produced and the beat was made by me. Uh, here's a sneak preview of the song. Comfort you when you cry, I'm right. taking the yeah. look over if you would like to. I got the bag for real. 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 I'm going to add that this was an incredibly fun song to put together. I mean, the recording, the mixing, the mastering by Costa K, the song itself is definitely a mood elevator. Now, if we take a look at the artwork, the space theme visualizer, it was put together by Mr. Allen, Mr. Frank Allen. I remember at the time he was having some eye troubles, so there was a few details we decided not to worry about since he and I both had confidence in the song. Now, keep in mind, it's 2020 is passing through and we're going through 2022. My own platform in itself is starting to grow rapidly. You know, numbers on Facebook are starting to increase. Numbers on YouTube and Spotify were going up. You know, I was lucky to get monetized at the end of 2022 going into 2023. And, you know, life is good, I suppose. And, you know, while dealing with my own issues and, you know, somewhat still grieving the loss of my grandparents, finding out my parents are getting divorced, you know, helping my mom while she's on dialysis, finding uh, falling behind on my bills. You know, I've actually managed to keep my attitude somewhat positive throughout this whole thing. And I've had a lot of people in my day emotionally try to tug, pull, nitpick at me for different reasons. I've always been kind of able to keep my emotions separate from what's actually happening. And while I haven't always done things right, there have been many situations that have called for me to become personally more self-aware. And unfortunately for many with the type of upbringing I had, I wasn't always allowed to show a lot of weakness due to some things that I both witnessed and suffered by the hands of, you know, certain family members. And while I'm certainly not playing the victim, I'm going to give you guys some reasons why I chose to make this a fighting theme channel. And I'm definitely going to tell you what I've learned from this situation with Mr. Allen and what caused the disagreement between he and I, because quite frankly, yeah, quite frankly, until the disagreement transpired, I actually thought he and I were pretty good friends. You know, I actually viewed uh, Frank as somewhat of an ally, although our perspectives didn't align 100%. But, you know, to me, that's just another thing that makes, you know, dealing with people and living life more, you know, more the worthwhile is, you know, hearing where people are coming from and not being afraid to hear perspectives that challenge mine. You know, and you're going to hear a lot in this video about my actual feelings about the stupid alpha and beta debate, because at the end of the day, and this is the first time I'm ever using those terms on this channel or even on the Internet to begin with. I mean, if you can find a video on this channel besides this one right here where you hear me say alpha or beta or use those, um, you know, those terms to describe myself or anyone else, I will personally pay you. You know, so what was it that caused the, the so-called beef between Mr. Allen and I? Well, I'm not going to lie. You guys know I like to box. You know, I like to fight. You know, this is a fighting theme channel. You know, my Facebook followers, you know, they, they know I like to fight. My close friends know I like to fight. You know, my fans that listen to my music know I like to fight. You know, I have a supporter. I have my supporters separate for um, different reasons. And the reason for that being is because my supporters all follow me for different reasons. You know, people like the boxing videos, the episodes where I'm just talking to you like this. I have Dragon Ball Z themed videos for my younger viewers and music for my older viewers. You know, I like giving people variety. And uh, most of all, I like creating experiences for people, whether it be online or in real life. 
You know, I'm really not surprised that I have a lot of jealous haters, both men and women who look at what I'm doing and start to find fault in what they can. But of course, we always seem to get the males that love hating on other males the most when it comes to masculinity. And, you know, it's partly my fault for not commenting on uh, Mr. Allen's post until eight hours after he posted it, because by that time, you know, uh, people's minds were already made up. The narrative was already pushed and it solidified in people's minds. But, you know, going back to what I said about me believing Mr. Allen was a close friend, you guys got to be aware of, you know, stuff like this with your Facebook friends and especially people that you've never met in person before. Because, you know, it's, if you've never met somebody in person before, it's easy for, uh, you know, hate and resentment and bitterness to start building up in these people. You know, you, you're calling them your friend, but sometimes you have to remember you've never met them in person before. You know, sometimes it's the art that brings you guys together, but it's also, you know, the art that can cause these these small disagreements. And, you know, next thing you know, all these bottled up feelings start coming, uh, start coming to surface. And it's like you didn't even know the person. But because um, nine times out of 10, you know, it's going to be other men who hate on your fitness results. You know, it's going to be um, other men that feel intimidated by the fact that you box. You know, there's going to be uh, men that talk down on you in front of females. You know, most of the hate that you receive is going to come from the mouths of other guys. You know, that's just how it is. It's just the name of the game. And um, yeah, I, I, why did I mention, you know, feminine energy when I, you know, spoke about jealousy, breeding, contempt in other males? Easy because, you know, a lot of people are insecure about the way they look. You know, most of the hate that I receive is from people who are insecure about the way they look. You know, I very rarely get good looking people sending hate my way unless they're sticking up for a friend that they see as insecure. Uh, but I scrolled through the post comments and, you know, I was seeing people making all types of assumptions about my character, you know, putting words in my mouth, saying I overuse certain words that I've never used before. You know, I, I'm really glad some of you don't know me personally because you clearly have boundary issues. And, you know, if you can make up this many narratives about someone you've never seen or met before, you know, keep in mind, I've never seen or met Frank in person or anybody in his following. then you know, it only it only makes sense why you'd use this this uh, this disagreement like that to try and build yourself up and make yourself seem like a white knight you know and i say white knight because you know i want you all to know that my philosophy in itself is in no way uh in no way shape or form oppressive in nature what do i mean by that simple i don't hate women i don't hate women like mr allen's post insinuates you know my platform is centered around helping young men improve their lives but that shouldn't be a problem to anyone let alone any other males you know I feel like there's this idea going around that women have to be the prime center focus for every platform related to improving. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know, but I, I feel like sometimes people people take that too far to the point where it's like if they're not directly the focus, then that means it's oppressive in nature. And I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting, you know, um, men's mental health to be the center, the prime center focus of, you know, someone's platform. But um, I want y'all to know that with the type of personality that I have, I like to solve problems by getting down to their root causes. You know, I personally was able to make a lot of improvements in my own dating life by following a lot of the tips you see on this channel, mainly due to the fact that your life does improve when you practice celibacy. And I do believe that. And, you know, I'll take it to my grave even if I get married, but also because implementing pieces of the same philosophy Mr. Allen is demonizing that I know is working for a lot of you deep down. You know, I myself have been able to make myself a much better dating option simply because I'm no longer afraid to take risks. I know exactly what I need to do to dig myself out of psychological and financial ruts. You know, and not to mention my own street smarts have improved dramatically, but that's not the point. You know, making all these wild assumptions based on a meme you saw somebody share, that's not what masculine men do. I don't care about the whole alpha or beta crap. I'm saying that's not what men do. They don't care enough about a meme that somebody shares that offends them. You know, masculine men don't look at a meme and then get mad, flustered and emotionally perturbed. You know, keep in mind that it was an original. It was originally a meme about gossiping that started the argument between Mr. Allen and I. When I mentioned that gossiping is an inherently feminine trait, which it is, you know, you kind of proved me right. And you wrong by, you know, a hinting at a sparring match and then turning me down in the comment section. You know, B, blocking me as soon as I started to defend myself. You know, C, assuming that I have a problem with women simply because I choose to be a man and only a man. And D, putting useless terms like alpha and beta in my vocabulary when they've never been used by me on any of these apps. Guys, 
When I started this whole thing, I knew what direction I wanted to take it in, and I knew what type of terminology I wanted to use. It has nothing to do with any of the mainstream crap you see circulating online everywhere. You know, this is not only a safe space for you to get away from stupid stuff like that and, you know, stupid stuff like porn and, you know, negative apps like Facebook, but a place for you to have the freedom to connect with your inner child and genuinely feel like yourself. At the end of the day, I'm a black man with no felonies and no baby mamas. You know, I have my education. I'm just here to spread the knowledge. Now, if some part of you, and you know what I'm talking about, doubts whether this black man is able to create concepts like this or any others like you've seen on the channel without the help of anyone else, then you can best believe I'll be there to answer you whenever you come knocking at my door. Because at the end of the day, I haven't hurt anyone, nor is that my intent. And I'm not going to let anyone put the energy of an oppressor or an abuser on me simply because I saw where our problems were and chose to help young men get better. You know, I don't owe you an explanation for that. The last point I want to make in this video is just make sure you get the chance to meet people in person. You know, that way you guys aren't making stuff up about each other and assuming you know stuff about them that you really don't. Because how can you how can you really know a person if you've never seen them in person? You know, I don't have these types of problems with people that I know personally, and I don't have these types of problems with people that have actual lives and careers outside of Facebook. And with that being said, good night.